Hello, everybody. My name is Matthew White, coming to you from Inger Micro's Business Transformation Center. Today, we're going to be talking about the Cisco WebEx Desk Camera. It's a new camera. It's a USB webcam that's going to allow you to do 4K video for your people in your meetings and also for recordings on your own laptop or desktop. So today, we're going to take a little bit look at the unboxing of that camera, what comes in the box, what's included with the camera itself, some of the features that the camera gives you, and also do a side-by-side -side comparison of what the camera looks and feels like as far as the audio and that kind of stuff. So that way you can make a better informed decision of what your next USB webcam should be. And uh, it has some additional features that are really great, like being able to track the camera uh, so you can actually see who has it, um, update firmware, things like that in WebEx Control Hub itself. So you get that advantage there as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Cisco Unboxed. Let's uh, go ahead and open this box and see what's inside. So the first thing that you'll notice when you open the box is you have this uh, quick guide to show you what's actually included in this box. You can see that it's the actual uh, WebEx desk camera. If I go ahead and open that for you guys, it will show you how to connect it. And this is quick, easy instructions. There's not a lot of reading to do. Uh, pretty much it's just the uh, pictures and diagrams to show you how to go ahead and use it. Uh, as you notice here, the base has a, like almost like a foldable design. So you can either mount it to the top of a monitor or laptop and that that base does not get removed. But the one thing that you will see there is that it does have the ability to mount it to a tripod. That's a great new feature uh, that personally I like when I'm trying to do higher quality videos. If you've ever been on a meeting and you're trying to type at the same time you're talking to somebody and that webcam is connected to your monitor, it'll often shake the webcam itself. So uh, often I try to avoid doing that. But as you can see here, if I was to just like tap my keyboard, it will actually shake the webcam that I'm currently using. Now, right underneath that, when you take that off the top, uh, you do see the webcam itself. It's uh, protected by a little bit of cardboard here so that it doesn't get damaged in shipping. And if I go ahead and open this up here, so there's nothing else in that main cardboard other than the camera itself. So you don't have to worry about losing anything else there. Now, the camera does come in a little bit of a, this plastic wrap to keep it protected and keep dust and stuff like that off of it. But here's the camera itself. So you will notice here that you do have this privacy shield that slides over the camera so that people don't actually uh, hack into the camera or things like that or be able to see what's going on. When you don't want them to, you can make sure that you're actually uh, protected. So when you look at the camera here, you do have this ability here uh, to open it up as far as the mount goes. So this would hook on the front of your screen, and then this would brace it from the back so that way it keeps it stable. Uh, the back of the camera itself is USB-C. It comes with two cables. It comes with USB-C to USB-A, and it also comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, and then this is your uh, mount for your tripod underneath it. So let's go ahead and set that to the side for a second here. So this is the USB-A to USB-C cable. And then we have the USB-C to USB-C cable. And then we have the warranty instructions. So that just tells you that it comes with a one year limited warranty and a few different languages there. So that's everything that comes in that box. So let me go ahead and place that to the side here. And Let's get this camera connected and show you a side-by-side. -side. Okay, so let's take a look at a comparison between three different webcams here. So I have the one that's built into my laptop in the bottom middle. On the top left, I have a third-party uh, 4K webcam. And then on the top right, I have the WebEx desk camera. So as you can see here, all three videos are decent. I mean, I could get away with it, um, but you'll notice right off the bat that the webcam that's built into the laptop has a darker image to it. So the actual camera sensor is not as good. The lens might not be as good. The actual camera itself, uh, as far as being zoom, like it's not a wide angle lens at all. So I have to be further away from my laptop to really get in the shot properly. And because it's built into my laptop monitor, I have to adjust the monitor itself to actually get the angle that I want. 
where like right now my laptop monitor is pretty much flat, um, but my head's being cut off at the top uh, versus the other two cameras, it's not because they have slightly wider angle lenses. And also I can reposition those a little bit to make the best quality image that I want. Now the 4K camera here on the top left, that one is really going to be a decent quality image. It does have a brighter quality image. Uh, it does give you a decent 4K uh, color spectrum and even just quality overall is not bad. Now, when I look at the WebEx camera, a few things that I do notice right off the bat is brightness is even better. Uh, it's a much sharper looking camera and the wide angle lens is even wider than the other one. So I do have a lot more of the environment around me that I can see and I can always zoom in digitally on that image if I wanted to, to not show my surroundings, but my option is there. Now, obviously I do have the privacy cover on the laptop and I do have the privacy cover on the WebEx camera. The third party one does not have that. So that's another advantage to going with the WebEx one uh, over the, uh, one of the third party ones. Now it depends on which third party you have, if it'll have that cover or not. And then also uh, the mount. So I do have the tripod mount on the WebEx camera where I don't have a, on the other one. So if I do want to completely remove it from my laptop screen, so moving the laptop around doesn't mess with it, I can do that as well. Okay, so let's go through the audio test. So first off, this is my Cisco headset. Uh, the microphone is very close to my mouth. So obviously the audio is going to be pretty good. The nice thing about headsets is the proximity to your face allows for better noise cancellation for the sounds that are around you. So let's jump through these different uh, webcams. So if I switch off this headset and switch over to the other 4K webcam, so the top left, this is what it sounds like now. So I'm no longer using my headset, I'm now just using the 4K third-party webcam audio built in. Let's go ahead and switch to the next one. So this one is the Cisco 4K webcam, the dust cam. Uh, this audio again is built directly into the webcam so you don't have to worry about wearing a headset or things like that. And let's go ahead to the built-in audio on my laptop. And this is what the built-in audio on my laptop sounds like. So as you can see, there's a good quality difference between each of these sources. And obviously if you have additional things that are uh, making a lot of background noise or things like that, then you probably want to move up to a better quality mic, either something built into a webcam or go even further and have something like a Cisco headset, which is going to help block out that background noise for you. So then as the last thing that I'd like to cover is a little bit about the software that this WebEx desk cam comes with. So as you can see here, I have a couple different settings. I can go ahead and actually choose the resolution that I want to record at. I can choose the frame rate that I want to record at, and I can change the field of view. Now changing field of view allows me to zoom in a little bit more from the camera. I can also zoom out a little bit. Now when I say zoom, it's, it's using the field of view, so the wider angle versus the less wide angle. Um, it, as you can see here, I do have my digital zoom as well, so I can zoom in and zoom out with the camera. And when you zoom in, you can also see here that you do have the pan left, pan right, and tip up and down button. So I can adjust that a little bit if I wanted to, um, zoom in a little bit and then position myself accurately in the frame so that way I don't have to worry about adjusting my camera as much uh, physically. I do have the updates button over here where I can actually check to see if there's a new version of the app or of the firmware for the camera. And then I also have a brightness adjustment over on the left hand side. So if the auto adjustment isn't where I want it, I can adjust that manually myself. And then I have the ability to collect logs and update firmware over on the left hand side here manually from a file if I want to download the file. And then I have the advanced tab, which allows me to turn off autofocus if I wanted to manually focus the camera. I also have the same thing with auto white balance, contrast, sharpness. And then I also have manual anti-flicker if I want to turn that on because of a power in my area. Um, 50 hertz is an issue usually over in Europe, um, but you can turn that on or off. And then also where you want to save your recordings if you want to record them to a particular location. 
And then you have your mute uh, capability over here, so you can see your input level from your microphone. You can adjust that input level up and down, and I can also mute it entirely as well. I can take a snapshot of this, so if I want to just take a snapshot and save that, uh, I could do that, or I could also record. So that is everything. If you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to the Business Transformation Center and or your Cisco sales rep here at Ingram Micro, and we'll be happy to support you. Enjoy the rest of your day.